So you want to make sure that you can see your computer or your screen from the ground because we're going to spend most of our time there. If you have a mat, it will make your life way more enjoyable for this class. If you don't, don't sweat it. You can also lay down on a towel um, or really anything. You could probably do this whole routine in your bed, but if you do, don't admit it to me because um, that's just unfair. So, um, yeah, and then if you have like a ball or like I said, like a small stuffed animal, um, you can even roll up a towel, whatever is going to fit in that crease of your leg for a lot of these exercises is going to be handy today. We don't always use it, but we are today. So, on that note, meet me on your mat. I'm going to start our music. Should I say this? My name is Jenny. You're in bar. Hopefully you guys know where you're at. All right, let's get going. Go, go ahead and lay on down. Put it over here for now. Okay, lay all the way down. Typical crunches. Here we go. Just getting warmed up. Up and down. Keep going. Make it a C crunch. Knees come up as your head crunches in. Remember, don't pull on your neck though. You can also do this with your arms extended, elbows to your knees. Good. Legs up. Nice and straight. Here we go. Dropping one. One and up. One and up. You got it. Good. Keep going. All right, hands can stay up behind your head, by your side, or right underneath your hips, up to you. We have crossovers going down and up, ready? Looks like this, crossing over as your legs go down, and as they come back up. Okay, you got it, breathe. So the tops of your feet can face you, right? Your feet can be dead on, or you can be turned out. I have my feet dead on because I'm often turned out. So just to change it up for me, that's where it's at. You do what's going to be a change up for you, yeah? Good. All right, flutters. Here we go. All the way down. Breathe. So you back up. Breathe. Back down. Keep those legs as straight as you can. Back up. Awesome. Both go down. Same time. Here we go. And up. Down. And up. If you want, you can do one leg at a time. That's totally optional, yes? Otherwise, both legs at the same time. Awesome. Knees bend. Feet to the ground. Open up your knees. Why? Good. Toes on the ground. Lift those heels up off the ground. Yes? Toes are on the ground. Breathe. Good. Reach through. Here we go. Reach. Pulse. Good. Got it. Breathe. Yeah. 
Lay back down. Pulse again. Here we go. Heels are lifted, yes. Toes are tapping on the ground. Good. Relax your head. Awesome. And then you're going to think about lifting from your ankles, lifting those legs up and down, yes? Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Embrace it now. This is going to be a lot easier than what we're going to do. Think about lifting those ankles up towards the sky. Breathe. You got it. One less at a time, it's going to come even further up, yes? Almost like a little attitude lift here. But when you only move one, you can get a little less higher. Good. Good, next leg, up and pulse. Pulse. So think about moving your whole unit up towards you. Good. Point your toe. Keeping that nice diamond shape with your leg. You got it, breathe. Other side. Oh. Breathe, you got it. Good. All right. Instead of lifting towards the ceiling, you're going to lift up and down. Up. Tapping just those toes, yes? If you need to, you can put your hands under your hips. But notice how that makes it a really easy. So if you don't need it, slowly walk those hands out away from your bum. Having your arms just out straight next to you might help keep your lower back down. Good. Leave it lifted. Pull. Pull. With them nice and high. Reach for those ankles. You can tap them gently. Yes. Three. Good. Tap your knees in and widen. Three. My arms are just overhead. Getting some nice stretch here. Keep going. Are you ready to add on? Reach through as your legs open. Reach overhead as they close. Reach through. Reach through. So reaching through for those ankles or your feet. Key is to try to get your knees to go back together when you lay down, yes? Yeah? Knees together, knees apart, knees together, knees apart. You got it. Really working those hip flexors today. And your abs, always. And those legs, breathe. Good, and release. Oh, let those legs go long. Ah, full body stretch here. Good, all right, legs up at an angle. Be the best, yes. So easiest is straight up and down. The more lower they are, the harder this becomes. Hands can be nice to your side or underneath your bum or behind your head. Up to you. 
you're gonna drag along, back up, drag, and up. Now, if you want, you can add a little extra here where you lower that leg long, yes? Good, breathe. Point your toe, make it look nice and fancy. Good, breathe. Awesome. Keep going, you got it. I'm trying to get those legs really straight whenever they're together, yes? Okay, keep going. Breathe, you got it. Awesome, take it back up, knees into your chest, buddy. Awesome, while we're stretching, we're gonna do some active footwork here, so switch. Which one you point and flex? You can do it, breathe. If you need to, you can just hang on to your knees. If it feels good to hug them, do so. Still working your feet, yeah? Don't waste any time. Awesome. We're going to get a nice leg stretch here. So one leg goes up. The other one can just be on the ground. Foot on the ground or leg long. Up to you. Trying to straighten that knee. Yes, the difference is right here. Yeah, I can get it really close to my face when it's bent like this, but can you straighten your leg? Good. And then breathe. Pull it close to your face. Good, grab the inside of your leg, stretch it out to the side. Also back to center, excuse me. Other leg up, switch them out. Remember, your foot can be on the ground. Nice straight leg here. If you want a little extra, you can go long. Breathe. If you need to walk your arms down your legs somewhere so that you can take all that tension out of your shoulders, do so. Just don't grab right behind your knee, okay? Okay, grab on the inside, wherever you want, and open up that leg to the side. You can let your other arm come out to a T just to kind of give you a little counterbalance. Good. Back up. Awesome. This leg up. Lift the other one off the ground. Yeah. Ha! There's a reason we stretched it all out. Hopefully you knew this was coming. All right. So grab anywhere along your leg that you want. Here we go. Switch two. And two. And two. 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 Straight legs. Yes. Singles, here we go. Up, 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 up. Few more, you got it. Awesome, both legs up. Relax your neck down. Stretch both legs at the same time. Barbie toes or pointed toes. Good breathe. Yeah. Alrighty. Take your ball friend or your stuffed animal or whatever you got. Put it between your knees. Come here. You also you can just press your legs together here. You got to put your feet in together. Press your knees in together. Good. Ready. So you can kind of graze your heels. We're gonna do bridges. Here we go, down and up, up and down. 
so the point about this ball is that you're going to squeeze it as you go up and down, yes? Good. Keep going. You got it. Keep going. Squeeze that ball, yes? Squeeze, especially squeeze it in as you go up. Awesome, release it. I know, that easy, right? You're already gonna ditch it. Roll all the way over onto your belly. All right. You guys ready? So not ready. You're ready. All right, here we go. Just hang on to it in your hands for now. Press your toes into the top of the mat. Good. Lifting single and switching, alternating leg lifts. Here we go. Now remember, if you want, you can always rest on that thing. He just gave you a nice little pillow, or you can rest on your hands up here. Awesome, and the same flutters. They're now obviously not gonna go as high, but that's what we're gonna do for feet. Ready? Here we go, flutter. Point your toes, try to keep your legs straight. Use your foot. You got it, breathe. Your head can be on the ground once you figure out what you're doing, or if you want, you can also add in your arms. Good. Alrighty, this guy is gonna come in handy. So take your knees, you have to like kind of tuck your toes on the ground so you can keep your legs nice and wide. Knees are nice and wide so your feet can come together, yes? And then you're gonna put this between your feet. Yes. And then it gets better. You gotta lift your legs up off the ground. They're gonna feel super heavy right about now. Here we go, lift. Lift those knees up off the ground. So it helps if your knees are about as wide as your mat. That's how you're going to get any lift. If they're any wider, you're not going to be able to lift as high. Maybe not at all. So make sure those knees are only as wide as your mat. Breathe. Really press into that ball. Good. Really strengthening the back side of your body. Also the front side. Stretching out the front side more. Really strengthening the back side of your body here. Good, you got it. Lift that ball up towards the sky. Two more. Good. Keep that ball between your legs. Tuck your toes so that your knees are back underneath you. Yes. Awesome. And lift double leg. Squeezing that ball. Three. We're really just trying to keep it between your feet. You don't have to squeeze a whole lot, right? Just enough. That'll be good. That'll be plenty. Three. Good. All righty. Bring your knees up. Put it behind your knee. Yes. Other leg presses into the ground. Flex this foot. Ready? Lift this leg. Here we go. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Breathe. Tapping out and in. Tap your knee to the side. Tap it back. Tap it out. Tap it back. Squeezing whatever you have between your, on your leg. Good, keep it up you guys. Awesome. 
Awesome. Switch it out. Other leg up. And you can always do this without anything behind your kneecap. That's totally fine. Just adds a little extra, yes? Press this foot into the mat. Up and down. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. All right, ready? Out and in, here we go. Tap side, tap back. Tap side, tap back. Nice flex in that foot, it'll really get into your bum. Good, you got it. Good, release. Cool. Roll over onto your side. All right, here we go. Ball goes behind your leg. Good, knees are bent. Remember, you can always do this without. So much fun with it, though. All right, lift and lower. So it's like fire hydrants, but we're doing them on our side. Different kind of core work, inner core. If you touch it, you'll feel it. Hopefully, it's in there. It's pretty deep. Good, you got it. Awesome. Let that knee hover forward and back. Good, you got it, breathe. together. Knees open and close. Yeah, there it is. Breathe. You got it. This one needs to extend, that's why. Out and in. Really gripping it with this leg now. So you're going back at an angle, so this is flat with your body, yes? Knee comes forward, goes back flat, up at that angle, yes? Let this leg be the trajectory for your other one. This is like an arrow pointing you where you're going. Breathe. If you want, you can like let that knee come all the way to the ground and extend. Breathe. Good. 
says, extend it. Can you leave everything like this? Circles or pulses, excuse me. Pulses, don't grab your leg. Good, pulse the sport. As if you're doing like tiny kicks, sport. Oh, this foot, don't let it sag. Breathe. Oh, release. Oh, you guys are lucky that our leg is tired. All right. Okay, see? Hey, it's all right here now. But you know exactly what this means. Leg lift. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> and down. Uh, up. And down. Uh, you're so good. Up. Uh, and down. Breathe as it goes up. Try to get your legs straight. So straight, yes? Just your heel touches down on that ground. All right, you got it. Awesome leg swings, yay! Woo! Just trying to release something. Awesome. Take that knee up. So sometimes when we stand, we do like these crunches, right? That's what we're going to do on the ground. This guy. You can have him right here. You like staying in that position. It just adds extra. All right. So this arm can be out long, out here, wherever you want it. Down. Crunch up. Yes. Good. Don't yank on your head, right? Your arm's just there to like guide it and kind of cradle it, <laughs> love it, not yank it up. Get it right. Go ahead, let it go. Awesome. Other side, you guys ready? You need water. Grab some water. I will take my time in case you needed that water break. Gladly. Alright, you guys ready? That ball behind your legs. And your knees. Here we go. The whole unit is going to lift up and down, yes? Good. Breathe. You got it. Breathe. This leg should be so fresh right now. No sweat. Yes? Good. All right. Cut that out. Leg hovers. Forward and back. Here we go. Forward and back. So remember, if there's nothing behind your leg, you're keeping it in the same shape. The whole unit is moving forward and back. It's from your hip. Yes? It's going to really creep in there. That's okay. We want some nice strong hips. Especially when you get older, this gets way important, yeah? You got it, keep going. Good, last one. All right, toes stay together, knee lifts. A little different than what we just did, yes? 
If you realize that you were doing this earlier, the whole unit lifts, yes? Do whatever you didn't do. Good. Breathe. Keep going. Good. Knees together. Toes lift. Good. You got to Keep going. Trying to find all the little muscles that are engaging right now. It's kind of crazy. Awesome. Toes lift. Good. Knee lifts and back. Good. Breathe. Keep those toes lifted. You got it. Breathe. more. Awesome. All right. Take that ball out from behind you. Put it behind this leg. Keep that leg at that same angle, right? That we're like this. It looks like a beautiful mermaid. Good. And then out and back. Out and back. Remember, going back a little bit at that diagonal. So your leg is kind of stick gets in the line with your body and see how it goes up at that angle. Like this foot is telling my other foot where to go. Yes? Very bossy bottom lift, yes? Even if you want, knee can drop all the way to the ground and extend out, yes? That will make it harder, Slow show. If you don't believe me, try it. Good, you got it, three. Hi, Chihuahua, go, you got it. Don't let this leg sag. This bottom leg. Keep it lifted. Keep squeezing that ball. Nice hard point with those toes. Uh, you got it. Good. Extend out. Leave it out. Little lifts up and down. Don't hold on to your leg. I'm being a bad example. I had a few more classes than you today. I promise. Do this without your hand attached. Yes. Good, forward like little kicks. Keep this leg up. Good, oh, release. All right, oh man. All right, leg out in front, here we go. Flex that foot, toes lift off the ground, yes? Just your heel touches, this hand, right here. Here we go, lifting up. Oh, take it down, breathe. Try to keep this leg nice and straight, yes? Just your heel touches. Good, you got it. Try to slow it down. Famous, famous last words for me. Three. Good, leg swing. Here we go, hold on, swing. <laughs> Make sure I'm not gonna hit my feet. Good, just let it go. Should feel good, finding some of that release, yes? Good, all right. Switch it out. Got it. All right, this arm is out long here, here, or wherever you want. All right, crunches, side crunches, here we go. Up, up. Remember, don't yank on your head. It's just kind of telling you that knee to elbow connection that you can lay back down once you get it. Good. 
Use it to guide your body into that crunch, yes? You got to keep going. Good, let it go. Woo! Great, roll over onto your back. Ah, uh, kind of feels nice just to lay here. No worries, we won't stay here, I promise. Go ahead and take it up and over figure four. You can always stretch in the middle in case nobody told you. That's what yoga is. Stretch in the beginning, middle, and end. Too bad you're not in yoga right now. All right, reach through figure four. So if you've never done it before, foot on the ground, other leg, Stacks on top, flex that top foot. You can be right here or you can reach through your legs, grab underneath that bottom leg, pull it closer to your chest, breathe. Good, release, leave your legs stacked, arms out to a T. Good, and then just simply take your legs across. That top leg is gonna go across your body for a supine twist right here. Breathe. Good, take it back up. Unstack that leg. Other leg, flex your foot up and over. And again, feel free to stay right here and then just press this leg away. That's going to be a nice stretch. Or to reach through your legs, grab that bottom one. You can pull it as close to your chest as you want. Just be nice, right? Good, and then just simply release. Keep those legs stuck, arms out to your tee. Fall away from that top leg, yes. We get a nice two point twist here. Breathe. You are trying to keep both shoulders on the ground, but if it lifts off, not a big deal, but that's what you're aiming for. Good, release it back to center. Cool. And then we're gonna roll over onto all fours. You decide which way you wanna face, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna face this way. All right, here we go. Simple kick back. You don't need the ball quite yet. Ready? Kick back and in. Back and in, you got it. Keep going. So spread your fingers nice and wide. You can even like engage your abs here. You can even like, please engage your abs here. That'll help take some of that pressure out of your wrist. Now if your still hurts your wrist, you can either press into your big knuckle where all your fingers connect, or you can go up onto your fist right here, yes? Take care of you. This is about your leg. Your hands don't need to suffer. Make sure you're not like doing some of this action. We're not doing this right now, okay? We're going straight back and in. Don't worry, that part's coming. Actually right now, ready? Take the ball. You're gonna put it again in that knee crease. Okay, so remember, if you don't have a ball, no big deal. Your leg is just gonna stay in the same position. So into your chest and back. And back. Good. Again, we're only lifting right here. So don't like really arc it up. We don't need that. Leg should be in line with your body. 
You'll know because it'll creep up into your back and your belly will drop. That means that you're you're arcing too much, yes? Don't do that. If you feel the want to like flip your hair back, that means you're probably arcing a little too high, yeah? Don't do it. But you can work on getting your knee closer to your elbow. That is a totally fine thing if you want to overachieve. Good. All right, fire hydrants. Here we are. Open and close. Fire hydrant pulses. Hey, you got it. Try to make that sound a little more appealing. I don't know if I was successful. All right, leave your leg on that plank. Slice it back and forth, back and forth. So your knee is coming towards your shoulder now, not your elbow, right? So keeping your leg on that horizontal plane, yes. Hey, kind of like what we did on our side, yeah? A little harder though, getting our arms involved here. And the other leg, building some nice stability muscles through that other leg. Keep your knee nice and level, yes? Try to keep your knee level. Good, all right, let's just go. And you do have another side. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see me, but you don't have to turn around. All right. Woo! No, wait, you don't need it yet. Here, I was getting all ambitious on you. Back and down. Ah, let your back, your kneecap, breathe. Yeah, before we start going crazy, right? Breathe, you got it. So figure out your arm situation here, right? Press up through your middle of your back, through your shoulders. Press that part out. Engage your abs. You'll be surprised at how much weight you just take out of your hands whenever you engage your abs. Yeah, you'll have to work on your breathing a little more. That's okay. We all can do that, yeah? But just think about staying lifted. The reason I say press out of the middle of your back is it helps you, like, lift everything up. That's what you want. All right, here we are. He has waited long enough. All right, ready? Into your elbow and back up. Remember, if you want to overachieve, touch that elbow or your forearm. Don't go higher and arch your back. Yes? Are you still engaging your abs or is your belly dropping when that leg goes up? Think about it. If you're not sure, tuck your belly button to your spine and just be on the safe side. Yeah? You always have the option of going onto your fist. Awesome! Fire hydrants, here we go! Side! Side! Yeah, if you really want to level up, you're going to take your opposite arm and out to a T, yes? Craziness! You can do it though. I just did it. You can do it, right? That's how it works. Pulses, here we go. Fire hydrant pulses. Pulse. Breathe. All right, on that level plane, send it back, send it to your shoulder. Good, breathe. Like a karate kick. Hi but you're not gonna extend because then you drop your ball. You don't want to drop the ball today. And you gotta keep going. Try to keep that knee up, yeah?
Last one, come back to your center. Placing both knees on the ground. Yes. Toes can be flat, like your back of your foot can be flat on the ground. That's how mine are. Or you can tuck them if it makes you feel better. It won't help you any. Arms up, arms long. Straight body, all the way back. Hold. Good, come on back up. I'm just gonna turn sides so you can see what I'm doing, yeah? You never done this? Good, straight back. So this is a nice straight line. We're not dumping. We're not doing that, right? Straight line. Good, and back up. Arms up to the side, nice and tall. One straight line, go back. Only go back as far as you can. Do it and keep good form. Breathe. And come up. Come on, while you do it. And let it go. Be here, breathe. Hey, come on. Ah. One more go. I think so. Here we go. You have to realize I'm practically self-entertaining here, so if I get a little loopy, just because I don't have you guys to like, you know, hang out with all your little comments on the side, I do miss them, but I'm so glad that we have this option, yes? All right, go ahead and come down. We're gonna stress for real. Oh, you never thought this time would come. Life's nice and high. Okay, if you're not done being intense by now, Feel free to drop into some real splits, but otherwise, like just go as wide as you want and then walk forward. We're done with it. Green. You can point your toes or flex them, doesn't matter. Good. And then keep your legs where they're at, and you're just going to walk your hands and twist, yes? Trying to twist from your shoulders. That hand is kickstand behind me. Nice and tall, and I'm not on my knee, right? I'm right above it. Good. Other side. Take this hand straight behind you on the ground. Leg above your knee. Leg above your knee. Hand above your knee. Twist open with your shoulders. Good, classic butterfly. This is gonna feel real great and terrible. All right, feet together. Good, so nice and tall, lean forward, breathe. Don't bounce your knees. Not good, not good. Um, you got it, breathe. Typical dancer style, legs go back out. Just like to hang out here. And then open over. You have some nice pretty arms. Whatever you want. Good. And back up. Other side. So if you're really flexible, you can put your elbow on the ground and actually like open up your chest to the side here. If you're not, don't sweat it. Reach for anywhere along that line. Just open up. Good. And come back up. Awesome. Legs are going out long. Simple. Straight leg. Four fold. Breathe. Woo! We did a lot to the back side of your body. Stretch it out. The other option, if you keep stretching, I'm just going to show you. You can take it if you want. But if you want to get more into stretching to your back rather than your hamstrings, bend your knees and then just walk your feet out as far as they'll go. They may be right here and that's fine. Or you can walk them all the way out. Yeah? That might help get more into your back. Or if you never thought you could touch your toes, maybe you just did. Good. Roll back up. All right, I'm done being a dork. Place your hands behind you. They can turn in or to the side. Lift your hips up. Head goes on your shoulders. Good. 
good. And release. Awesome. You guys did it. We made it through another day. Woo! All right. I hope you had fun. 